A special bulletin from the Press Radio Bureau. Friends of the royal family informed the United Press tonight that Queen Mary now feels that it is for the best interest of the empire that Edward should abdicate. She reached this conclusion, it is said, after a violent quarrel with the king yesterday in which she pleaded with him for the sake of the empire to give up Mrs. Simpson. The king sharply refused. Persons close to the court described the meeting as a very sad one. Queen Mary was in tears, and the king, who had had little sleep recently, was pale, tired, and angry. After the interview, Queen Mary was described as showing symptoms of a nervous breakdown. One friend described her condition in these words. Queen Mary has cried herself out. Now she seems to be in a trance, hardly able to realize that all she and King George worked for, all the popularity of the royal family, which they had devoted their lives to fostering, is now tumbling down. Her distress is extreme. Another report tonight is that the Duke of York, who had recently informed King Edward that his health would not permit him to take over the throne, has made up his mind that this is practically inevitable, although he still hopes that Edward will yield to the pleading of the royal family and give up Mrs. Simpson. However, it is unlikely that anything really definite about the King's attitude will be known until tomorrow, when Prime Minister Stanley Baldwin addresses the House of Commons. Parliament has been called to meet at 2.45 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, London time, 9.45 a.m., New York time. From London, the Daily Mirror, a London newspaper, prints an editorial tonight saying that the opposition of the British dominions to the marriage of King Edward and Mrs. Simpson has been caused by what this newspaper calls the newspaper hooligans of the United States. It goes on to say that America's biggest export for the past six months has been venomous gossip and twisted headlines based on rumor, and that public opinion has not yet really crystallized in Britain, as the people's enlightenment has only just begun. The London Mirror also says, quote, The Mirror favors the king's marrying Wally if he chooses. Every sensible man and woman in Britain today holds the view that anything which makes our monarch happy is good for him and good for the country. The king wants to marry Mrs. Simpson, and the people of Great Britain want his request granted, without diplomatic pressure. But it is easy to understand the nervousness of the Dominion premiers. What would our attitude be if our minds had been warped and numbed by a gangster press, intent only with providing boys with sensations of bellow above the din of traffic in the streets of New York and Chicago, unquote. The London Daily Mirror for several days has been urging the cabinet that they make public all the facts concerning the king. This bulletin was from the Press Radio Bureau. Meanwhile, Columbia will continue to interrupt all scheduled programs wherever necessary in order to keep its public abreast of the latest developments in the British crisis. 